Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to and to Psychonauts. That's the that's the word I was going for. Come work on the phone lines with us. Adjustments need to be made when firing in the wind. Okay. Operator. Just before I forget. Just in the neighborhood. Frag fragments, cobwebs have been collected. There isn't a vault in this area. Hang on, just double checking to make sure. Yep. The vaults have been cleared. Sewer worker. I am a skilled phone repairer. I am an assassin. Come work on the phone lines with us. Okie dokie. So we're back in with Raz and all that. Okay, I forgot how. How twisty turvy this place is. And the fun it. And the fun. Bleh, and the things it does to your sense of perception. Out of curiosity. Okay, we're missing one. Which one are we missing? I am a skilled phone repairer. Be right there. Ah! Be right there. It better not be that creepy guy again. Who is it? Hello? Let's see... Do, 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 do. Be right there! Gosh, I sure hope someone is there this time. Who is it? Hello? For your rainbow treats, we knew you would. Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt pledge of purpose to promote niceness, to make the world prettier, to share candy with everyone, to obfuscate the true nature of the milkman, to protect the milkman at all costs? you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirts! Die! Have some cookies! Got some! Yeah. Die! Treats for you! 
do, 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 do. Sorry, I was just having her see what she viewed me as, but apparently she legitimately views us as the you know, LSLs. Okay, we survived. Barely, but we Have lived. You done? He wakes! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. is delicious. Special delivery today. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Oh, we got a crow feather. Okay, Boyd views us as milk. Punch out free brain. Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. Don't. Excellent find a fellow cadet's brain. If you can take it back take it back to Fort Crawler for recarnalization, you to your total mental health potential will be increased. Yes! I got a brain! Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh! You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Hey, boy, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. <laughs> My employer has commissioned me to deliver this milk to whitewash what went on here. I make sure no evidence is left of anything except for milk. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. Okay. JT's brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Ha! 
Let's see, hey, you finished half the scavenger hunt, so you're qualified for the first half of your prize. Go see Ranger Ford for your big promotion. We're just gonna go and drop some brains off. See what happens. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Yeah. See, we want to go to. Let's go to. Yes, noble psycho master. Like two reasons we're coming here. The first is. Well, to drop off the cobwebs, which we could potentially go back to places in order to. in order to fish, fish out more cobwebs and all that. But right now... Side power upgraded and Wrecking Ball. Once you've learned this levitation power up, your thought bubble becomes a deadly weapon at full speed. Okay, so we can weaponize this thing now. Wonderful. finding that kid's brain. Besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Agent Crawler, what is the current situation? I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Okay, two brains are now set up. Actually. Huh. Sees me as a whole, as a young little agent. Dressed as himself, he sees them as a small, a young version of himself. Nice. Let's see. Bring me near the G. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. Okay, I believe there was the Ranger Station here somewhere. I 
here we go. Mr. Crowley, you gotta help. Kids are getting kidnapped and everyone's missing and their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well, now, you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits? Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I've got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now get! Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger hunt. Holy smokes, look at that! Well then, here's the first half of your reward. Now don't be lazy. Finish that list. Get! Quick reward. Thank you. And we hop in here just to upgrade and offensive shield. Enemies who use melee attacks when you're shielded are now knocked back. Awesome. There we go. Well, time to go to the it's lake. Time to go to the lake. lake. Yeah. Wrong one. Actually, yeah, crow for the you. Not sure what the crow for the does. This Lobulinda, but we're skipping here for the moment. Okay, so that door does not want to open. Seems we have to go this way. Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loom. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Le jour de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Okay, uh, everybody who's still in the army, please raise your hands, unless you're dead. Behind you, General. Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock, covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto. You don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Ha! Ah. Whatever.
Ah, oh, good move, mate. Oh man, where's my cannon? Didn't we lose a cannon? Find a claw for a better costume. Find better lab coat for his costume. Find a face for the costume. Oh. That's where you want it. Whose brain is this? So three pieces and at least three people. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Wrong one. That's not very nice. Okay, I'm assuming that's a young version of herself. So, did you not see a girl come through here? Handsome, I'm not the stage director. I don't track the entrances and exits. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey. What? You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> ah! So... Did you not see a girl come? Okay, so. Handsome, I'm not this. Going in. Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. It does make you wonder just how. It... Hold on. Production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic. Who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. Yeah, we didn't find a piece of luggage. Oh, bugger. Just occurs to me we didn't find a piece of luggage under the. 
back in the, you know, the neighborhood. Great. Which means we're gonna have to go back there. it. Damn. Okay. Found one tag. I need the purse tag here. Okay, that might be over, might be in over here. I saw something. Yep, purse tag. There we go. Got it. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Yeah, a lot of crime. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, we, she sees us as a... Everything under control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? What have you heard? Everything's fine! Except that our production has no star. You get Bonita Soleil to perform again, and everything will be great. Her dressing room is behind the stage to the right and at the end of the hall. Right you. Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Okay, we can fix that. Fragments? Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten? Her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. 
So, are you ready? Did you put a candle in that spotlight no. and light it yet? No, but I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this is probably the closest represent representative to the actual person we're in. Okay. Glorious cool tra cool training. A Hagatha's home for girls. So this is Gloria being left here. Very much getting trained in order to be able to perform, but dance, to sing, <laughs> to learn more how to do the dancing and all that. Costumes. Yeah, the whip cracking is just a fairly common... I mean, it, it makes sense. Apparent back in the day, there was some rather... Unu not unusual, it was pretty It was more just the effort of actually Got it. getting actually training kids and all that was a very brutal endeavor. Mostly because you know, just if someone misbehaves you just physically beat them. They don't do that anymore, but well, he shouldn't do that anymore. You never know. Got it. Okay, more mental cobwebs. Can't get up there from here, so we have to go this way. Also, you have to appreciate how her inner inner voice is is very similar to to Miss Doctor Mrs. the Monarch from Venture Brothers. Use this candle to light the big spotlight. So I can't. There are you. There we go. Now, how can I light that candle? Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace. 
And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos, or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Oh, I got one. Boy, rough, rough. Hey, what part are you playing? I am playing the part of Gloria von Guten, once famous star of stage and screen. Sing, Bertie. La la la. So the dog sees me as a fire hydrant. She sees me as a flower girl. So does she. So do you. Hey, what part are you playing? Well, I have a lot of walk-on bits. Oh, and sometimes I do the mailboat guy. It's a small part, but my agent says this is going to be my year. Hey, what part are you playing? I am playing the part of Gloria's washed up and embittered mother. School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. All mental cobwebs cleared. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he literally sees me as a star and a half. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed. 
Hey, why do you have to be so hard on her? Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Let's see. Bonita's just trying to lighten things up Benita's around here. Bonita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. You hate it so much. Why don't you just you leave? You hate the show so much. Why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action! Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Yeah, just ride on by, Sir Deadbeat's dad. Don't hang around to help raise your poor daughter. Jerk. Ow! Oh, get off the stage! Hey, what part are you playing? I'm playing the part. Okay, not being attacked by people anymore. Awesome. Now let's see what happens to me. There we go. I just have to climb a little bit. Hey, there's the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Okay, let's tr Oh god dang it. Let's 
see what happens when we put it in a more positive light. Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has besat in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering! Okay. Oh, wrong one. Baby, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, that one can use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. Oh. Oh, my dear mother, do you not love my new seaside mansion, bought with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? Yes, Gloria, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. We are so lucky to be together again so that I could share it all with you. And also that you are not even jealous of my youth and fame, though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, which has so quickly faded. Yes. Okay, apparently. Ow! Whoops. Whoops. That was an intention. That wasn't my intention. Shit. Mr. Rolls, but do you have any more scripts? Ah, you've tasted excellence, and now you're back begging for another bowl of quality theater? Not really, but I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the Phantom. Well, unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest. Just dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway. So, give up. Okay, so it just, if you talk to her, it just pulls the thing out automatically. Oh, 
right you. Must go on without me. As long as Jasper rolls and that phantom are out there. Sorry, kid. Now you see, that performance is exactly why we need to practice. Beat it, kid. I'm through. As long as Jasper and that phantom are out there, I'm staying back here, wallowing in my glamorous torment. You're not scared of that phantom, are you? No, it's not him I'm frightened of. It's that fat one who clings to the side of the theater like a blood-swollen tick sucking out its life. Ew. He's always been there, but he wasn't always that big and loud. I couldn't hear him much at all, really, until Gloria's mother hit the stage. He didn't like her performance either? No, I mean hit the stage, curse splat, jump from the catwalks while Gloria was in Paris. Ew. Yeah, that's what the janitor said, too. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Let's see, any script? Not back here. I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Not good, not good. Ah, you see me as food. That makes sense. And the puppies are gone. Telekinesis. Bio yon dragon, yon dragon is a mystical force of the theater. Only theater itself can affect it. Duh. Ha ha ha! Close the theater, only theater itself can affect it.
Actually, that might be an idea. Can't get a good grip. Slop you back. For a second I thought maybe I could grab onto the one of the We know the, the way up there, or a way up there. Just have to swap this around. Okay, we have to... So we have to work out how to get to this book from here. Deal with the bloody bats. Die! I slay thee with my mighty blast of Psy. Yon dragon is a mist of the theater. Only theater itself can affect it. Ha ha ha! See, is there a way of getting up the back side of this? See, is there something we're missing, or...?
Doesn't look like it. Nope, nope, we're not. That was a gift from the Prince of Romania. Yeah, the book's still there. Wait a second. Becky, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, that one could use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Day the mail boat finally came. Oh, another script? The day the mail boat finally came? Uh oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. Career. I mean, your career. No! Never shall I go! Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself. 
personally. You can both be dead. And just real quick, before we end this episode. We get there. We'll continue on next time. Until then, my name is Broops. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.